Good afternoon. It is a beautiful Sunday afternoon. Uh, Paul and I are just going to fill you in on the last few days. Uh, Paul and I got up to the cottage uh, Thursday mid to late afternoon and uh, we went for a kayak ride all the way down to the island which is where I took that picture that I put up on my social media. I hope you guys like that. And uh, then we just came, came back here had a couple beers, waited for Ben to get here, and then Ben uh, was supposed to be here by 7 p.m., and uh, but it took him a little bit longer. I guess he mis miscalculated traffic, and again, he was coming all the way from Brantford, which is obviously much farther away than uh, what Paul and I had to do, so he just miscalculated. So he got up here probably around 9. So Paul and I started cooking the T-bone steaks and got all the other stuff ready. And uh, oh yeah, uh, Carol bought us, uh, I think it was four large portobello mushrooms and Paul cut them all up and did them in butter and salt and pepper. Oh, they tasted so good. Uh, I haven't had portobello mushrooms like that. I don't think ever. They were so good. I'll, I think I'll always do portobello mushrooms from now on uh, when I do steaks like that because it just tasted so good together. Uh, and then just as Paul and I were sitting down to eat, Ben came down the driveway, which is perfect timing. We all got to eat together at least. And uh, then we kicked back and uh, I introduced Ben to one of my favorite movies of all time, uh, The Rock uh, with Nicolas Cage and Sean Connery. That's a fantastic movie. And uh, Ben enjoyed it thoroughly. And uh, this is the first time he's ever seen it and uh, he said it was really good. So as you can see, the dock is in, and uh, so Paul, Ben and I on Friday, Ben, ben slept in till probably, um, I guess like 11.30, 12. So Paul and I got up pretty early, went for another kayak ride, uh, and then um, we were debating on whether we should start breakfast because Ben was still sleeping. And uh, so we finally started cooking breakfast when Ben woke up, <laughs> which was our lunch. So it was a brunch kind of uh, breakfast. So we had eggs and potatoes and onions. Uh, I think he even threw in a couple peppers in there. Uh, and then I, I did all the bacon and uh, it was a great breakfast and gave us a lot of energy to put the docks in. Um, one of the things we had to do this year, uh, Ben noticed right here that uh, the wood that was here was split and this eye ring uh, bolt thing uh, was letting this part of the, the uh, ramp wiggle way too much and was afraid that somebody might step on it and might collapse. Uh, when we do take the docks out at the end of the year, I'm actually going to move that closer to this one because uh, these two should be somewhat close together. Uh, it just helps stop the, the dock from sliding uh, back and forth. But we have one of these clamps on over here. Sam, say hi. You loving the cottage? Yeah. Okay. And then so we have to replace this board. Uh, we cut it halfway. We left that side in because it's still somewhat good. Uh, and then we just replace this whole board right across there and uh, it looks good. Uh, we don't have to worry about that um, breaking or collapsing or anything. So thanks Ben for pointing that out and uh, getting that all fixed up. So right now we were just uh, doing some cleanup and stuff and my mom and my sister are here now and Carol's here. Paul went home Saturday morning Ben went home Friday night and uh, my mom came up Friday night, my sister came up Saturday afternoon and uh, today is Sunday uh, and we're just doing some tidying up. My sister cleaned out the shed, the wood shed and uh, made all the tools and everything all nice and more, more neat over time. It gets kind of uh, messy in there. So uh, and then my sister, oh, sorry, uh, and my sister was up there, Carol was putting together the shower head and doing a couple things in our outdoor shower thing that I built for my mom and uh, she couldn't get something working and so she called up to my sister and so my sister started coming down the stairs 
let me take you over. Uh, I got my beer all ready to go. So Sam's just waiting for her. Cheryl to come back and I will explain where she is at the moment. Sa Sam, I'm over here, buddy. So she was coming down these stairs. And uh, so this is the stairs to our bedrooms. And this is our outdoor shower. And those are the stairs. And she misjudged the last step right here and uh, fell. And uh, we think she broke her foot because uh, it swelled up pretty big and, and it made a, a crack sound like somebody stepped on a, a branch and snapped it. So my, uh, my wife, Carol, <laughs> took my sister to the hospital and they've been there for I think three hours now. And Sam, we're going to go back down this way, buddy. Come on. So yeah, that was how our day went. And uh, <laughs> that's the shower. So Carol was attaching that and then she also put this up as well and uh, what I'd like to do on one of the weeks coming up is to get all this old wood this that all that wood used to be the deck and then uh, my dad tore most of the deck down and I don't know I guess he was thinking later on uh, that we would reuse that wood for something, but it's got all the nails in it, and uh, it's, just, it's. I'll probably try and salvage as much as I can, but uh, my dad used to have this area full, that area full, uh, that area full before the other stuff was there, and then I think that area, all these things are just all full of wood, and I just, over the years, I uh, got rid of it, took it to the dump. Some of it wasn't stained or pressure treated, so I burnt that in our pit. And uh, yeah, Sam, come this way. Come on, we'll go down to the dock and we'll hang for a bit. Hopefully, hopefully mommy will be home soon. <laughs> come here, come on. If you go away from me, I'm gonna have to put you back upstairs. This is freedom right now, buddy. Freedom, come on, come on, come on. So yeah, I just wanted to fill you in on what happened over the last few days. Uh, again, those um, T-bone steaks, Paul did a fantastic job. I bought them at Edwards Farms in uh, Innisfil. And uh, so I bought four of them. I kept one for myself at the house and I'll be using that in uh, one of my stealth camp um, or just camping videos that I'm gonna be hopefully creating with you. Sam is just like, waiting so patiently for Carol to come back. Come here! Come here! Come! Come! He doesn't want to come back. I wanted to sit at the dock with you guys and hang for a bit, but uh, last night I did my uh, my live show from the deck. We I started trying to do the live show uh, in the cottage because it was kind of off all day, off and on raining. Come on, treats! Come on, up! Up, up, up! Come on, up! Up! Old man! Old man! So I tried to do a live show uh, from inside the cottage, but just a little bit of interference, so I had to use my phone tethered to my laptop, and I did my laptop uh, at this table. So I have my laptop there, and then ah. I had some off spray for the bugs. And then Carol also bought me something really cool for my birthday that I, she bought for me to do or use when we, she bought me this and uh, it's a thermocell. It's just a small version thermocell. And uh, you put like a fuel in the bottom and then you put one of these cartridges in the top. I've got two more cartridges, apparently the last about four hours. And I just had that beside me down there and uh, it seemed to keep the bugs off. Like I put bug spray on and I used a thermocell. And my sister tried to get one of those uh, old um, hurricane lamp things uh, going for, uh, with the citronella in it just to help keep the mosquitoes away, but it didn't work. So uh, we need, you need to soak the wick a little bit more and make sure the wick is uh, good and uh, soaked so that it just stays lit. And I think we haven't used it in so long that uh, I think the wick was just dry and you're supposed to soak it. So it's probably good now. Uh, anyway, so 
Thanks for hanging out with me on this uh, vlog. I appreciate that, guys. I appreciate every one of you uh, hanging out with me and keeping my vlog channel going and uh, having fun with me on the Kendomic vlog channel. So I want to wish you guys all a great day and uh, we'll see you again in the next vlog. Ciao.